When it comes to investment criteria, you say there are three questions you need to ask before considering an early stage investment. Is it the right team? Is it the right idea? And is the timing right? How much of this is gut driven versus um, informed by your experience? You really have to rely on, uh, one is, as you mentioned, the idea. Is this a really big idea? If you're too early, uh, it might be the best idea in the world. It's just not gonna work. Right. You're, you're gonna run out of money. And if it's too late, you're gonna be a me too company. So you're looking for, kind of that perfect timing, um, sometimes you miss. Hopefully you are successful more than you miss. But lastly, uh, really where the, the, the bulk of the time is spent is on the team. Talk about how it's different being a mentor to, as a VC as opposed to being uh, an executive at a company, at, at Shutterstock, at Weight Watchers. When you learn to be a great manager, I think this is a great example. You have to be just like being a great manager, you have to be a great investor. So what do I mean by that? Plenty of people have managers who are uh, micromanagers, people that get in the weeds and can't think bigger. Plenty of people um, have managers that focus more on control versus the context. So I had already learned on my operating side how to not be that, how to um, lead teams by giving a lot of context and not exerting a lot of control, um, by understanding the power of uh, trying to influence people in what I might think is the right direction. You know, I think a great example when you're leading product and tech teams at scale is if the most senior person is um, shooting down ideas or not allowing people to test, even by the way, if I knew that test might fail. So just because I've seen two of the teams try it, I'm pretty sure that that's not gonna work. Um, I have to actually believe unless there's some big financial impact or danger to doing it, that I'm way better off letting the team test that and learn that on their own because it's about um, giving accountability down to the team. Naveen, uh, you co-founded Foursquare in 2008, 2009. You left the company in 2012. Talk about how that experience has helped you or inform the way that you advise uh, founders to grow their company, to communicate with their team, to, to realize their vision. So that experience actually was it's like it's indescribable because it actually taught me so much about um, people things. It taught me so much about decision making, how you actually weigh different uh, data inputs, and how do you actually communicate that to the team? How do you actually get together and talk talk through all these various uh, various issues, uh, and how you actually prepare yourself as an organization or as a as a culture and as a team.